Hey what's up guys welcome back. In this video we are going to see how to reverse a list with using built-in method as well as without using built-in method. So first let us see how to reverse a list with using built-in method. So first things first what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a list called list1 and I'm going to add some elements in it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and then after that I will call uh, reverse method off of list one so reverse and after that I will print after reversing and I will pass this list one and also we will print before reversing as well for comparison so before reversing and I will also pass pass list one please note that this method is in place method meaning it will make changes to the original list okay so the coding part is over let us execute this program and let's see the output and here we can see before reversing uh, it has printed the original list and after reversing it has printed the reversed list okay now let us take a look at how we can reverse a list without using built-in method so again first things first I'm going to create a list called list2 and I'm going to add some elements in it 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13 alright and after this I will take another list called reverse list so reverse underscore list initially it is going to be empty and after that we will run a for loop for iteration for i in range of here you need to understand the range function so range will take three arguments the first argument is start second argument is end and the third argument is step size okay so uh, to begin uh, the start value what I'm going to give is the last index value so to get the last index value what we need to do is we need to give list of length of list 2 minus 1 so that will give us the last index value comma and the end value will be 0 so to get 0 we need to give minus 1 because always the last value in the range function is discarded okay and since we are going to be traversing in a reverse order we need to give minus 1 okay now let us print i and let's see what are the values it is going to print print i and here we can see it has iterated from 8 to 0 and the last value is excluded okay now let us take this reverse list reverse underscore list dot append list 2 of i so initially i value was 8 it is going to check this list of 8th index is 13 and the first value which is going to be appended in the reverse list is 13 now during the second iteration the i value will be 7 now list list 2 of 7 is 12 and it is going to append 12 after 13 and likewise it is going to continue till 0th index and at 0th index we have 2 and the last value which is going to be appended in reverse list is 2 now let us print reverse list so after reversing and we will print reverse list here and we will also print before reversing so before reversing and we will pass list 2 now let us execute this program and let's see other output and here we can see before reversing it has printed the original list 2 2 4 2 4 5 7 8 9 10 11 10 12 13 and after reversing it has printed in uh, uh, printed the original list 2 in a reverse way here we can see 13 12 10 9 8 7 5 4 2 so these are the two methods uh, which you can use to reverse a list I hope you guys enjoyed this lecture and I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, take care.